You know, I don't really get many uh, nasty comments because I'm not big enough to attract a lot of knuckleheads. But uh, this morning, Poop Emoji, that's his name, said, Jeez, man, you need a haircut. Jeez, Mr. Poop Emoji, you need to change your name. Just kidding. I'm, I'm to that's not a mean comment. I'm totally fine with you thinking I need to change my hair. But seriously, you need to change your name. Hey guys, welcome to Just Brilliant, episode number three. Today's subject comes from Josiah, the happy mad scientist, who told me basically, basically I should try to make exploding ammo. So today's subject is exploding ammo. By the way, this guy, the happy mad scientist, has a really sweet YouTube channel you should go subscribe to right now. Link down there and up wherever that is. By the way, if you've got a just brilliant idea you think I need to do a video on, please send me an email to, um, hold on, what's the email address? Yeah, justbrilliant.jake at gmail.com and I will do a video on it. Now, exploding ammo. So, as far as I can think of, there are, I, I can't count. Is there three? Three ways? Let me just say them. You can use firecrackers, shoot them out of a gun. You can use um, those firecracker pop it things. And the third that I can think of, oh, there are three, is you could modify some shotgun shells and attach them to an arrow so that when they hit the target, the primer goes off and explodes them. It is so hot in this shop. If I'm just pouring sweat in here, you know why. It's hot in here. And I can't turn the air on because then you can't hear what I'm saying. This is water, not coffee, by the way. It's too hot to drink coffee right now. But it looks so cool to have a cup of coffee, so. Coffee! I can't focus on anything today. I'll just go ahead and read the email. Hey, from the Happy Mad Scientist. I was wondering if you could make exploding ammo using some M150s and shoot them using your PVC air cannon. Or exploding arrows. I don't know. You don't know? Just as long as they don't go off inside the PVC, maybe use black iron. Speaking of black iron, I saw they make half inch black iron pipe that has a burst pressure of 42,100 PSI. That could be useful for some sort of muzzle loader. You are right. Actually, that black steel or black iron pipe is powerful and is, is strong enough that you can actually use it to uh, make a real gun. Uh, not just a muzzle loader, you can use it to make, uh, you know, a regular bullet shell thing firing gun. I've seen a lot of people on YouTube make shotguns with it, which I really want to do myself, but you can't make a video on it anymore because of YouTube's new updated guidelines, which are nasty and I, I don't like those guidelines. You know, I can sit here and talk about it, but that would end up being pretty boring. So, instead, I'm gonna go test all three of these things. The firecrackers, the impact sensitive snappy thingies and the shotgun shell deal right now. Alright, so first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna take a firecracker and shoot it out of my hairspray pistol. Then it'll blow up and I'll be exploding ammo. The only danger here is that the firecracker will explode before the gun fires and maybe break the barrel. I don't think it will, but eh, I'll take the risk wadding, spray deodorant, I think I need a second person for this, you know what, no I don't, here watch, I'll just do this, eh, that worked, now these next things are called Torpedo cracker snaps. They're basically those little bitty snap bits on steroids. They work just like the little bitty ones, except they have the power and the bang of pretty much a regular sized firecracker. And you can see they're very substantial looking. I'm just gonna throw one at the shop and you'll see what I mean. <laughs> those things are a lot of fun for scaring the living daylights out of people. So obviously, you put one of those in a gun, shoot it. Unlike the regular firecrackers, they're impact sensitive, so when they hit a target, they blow up. So they're a lot of fun to shoot out of guns like this. I'm loading two of them in here this time. 
<laughs> Let's try for a couple night shots so you can see the flash. Oh yeah. I just had a pretty fun idea. I'm gonna take my blowgun and uh, shoot him out of my blowgun, see if we can get some precision going here. Oh man, this could be used to really scare some people from a distance, you know? There's a lot of potential for this. I think I'm gonna scare the living daylights out of our dog. I don't like our dog. I wonder if it would explode on the dog. It'd be pretty mean, but pretty fun too. Are you ready to die, dog? <laughs> Pardon my uh, spontaneous lunch break here. I just stopped to read the box. It says, caution, explosive. Use only under close adult supervision. For outdoor use only. Makes sense so far. Do not put in mouth. Whew, that was a close one. I tell you what, the second I opened the box, I was like, oh man. So we've tested the first two ways. It's pretty fun, it works well. The third way we're going to test is to take an arrow and take a shotgun shell and somehow modify the two so that the shotgun shell stays on the arrow with the primer pressed into the arrowhead so that when the arrow impacts the target, it sets off the primer and you have a cool little explosion. No projectiles actually in the shotgun shell, just a little bit of powder. That should be pretty interesting and I will do that as soon as I'm finished eating. Okay, I think I've made something that'll work here. I've got a shell loaded in the top of this apparatus, but the shell's completely empty. It's just the primer, just as a test to see if it'll work. But, uh, let's just see. Ooh! Oh yeah! Golly! Wow, that was way louder than I thought it was gonna be. So what this is, is just a, a piece of PVC screwed on to the end of this arrow. And I have a spike, which I drilled into and stuck into the arrow shaft itself. And it's just, the shell slides in just about this far. And uh, when it hits something, of course, the shell will be pushed inside and the spike will hit the primer and set off the round. Pretty simple. All right. Whew, I'm a bit nervous. Don't know why. This shouldn't be dangerous. I have this thing wrapped with tape and toilet paper so that it fits tightly in this PVC pipe. These are shells without any projectiles in them, just the powder. And they're 410 shells, so pretty much just gonna be a bang. No danger at all. <laughs> Perfect, that worked really well. Oh. Alright, so that's the three ways I can think of to do exploding ammo. They're all pretty fun, they work pretty well. I think my favorite, I mean the exploding arrows are really awesome, but I think my favorite might be just simply shooting these torpedoes out of a gun or my blowgun just because it's pretty much harmless and it's really easy to do and it's just fun. Firecrackers are more of a hassle really because you have to time it to get it to like go off while it's in the air or you shoot it and it hits your target and bounces off and just sits there until the fuse burns up. It's just not as cool. Arrows are pretty awesome and the torpedoes are I think the most fun. So that's your Just Brilliant idea for today. Go try all these out, have some fun. Make sure to send me your Just Brilliant ideas at justbrilliant.jake at gmail.com right here. And I'll see you in the next episode of Jake Makes. See you then, Jake out.